All right, guys, so something crazy just happened to me on my way. I think I got pickpocketed because I can't find my phone. Man, it's tough. Somebody ran away with it. Man, that's crazy. I didn't even notice. I thought I, I don't know. I go to look in my pocket and it's not there anymore. Now I gotta go figure out how am I gonna get a new phone? How much is gonna cost? Um, I don't know. I got my boy Samir, he's gonna help me out. Oh, whoa, gotta watch out for these puddles. All right, guys, I'm back on the streets of Addis and uh, it's not quite rainy season yet, but it rains quite a bit. So you gotta watch out, there's water everywhere. But uh, I'm headed out to meet someone in the Bole area. I'm here in Meganania. So I'm headed out. Salamno. How are you, brother? Good. Alhamdulillah. Uh, brother, how do I get to Bole? Bole area. This way? Yes. This way. Yes. Okay. Thank you, bro. Take care. Robert's side around here. Around here? Ah, okay. Take care. Ah, I will take care. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Which way is Bole? This way. Straight? Almost uh, one kilometer. Friendship? Friendship yeah. is this area? Friendship to the right. Turn right. Straight border. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank, Thank you so much. Alrighty. So, as you heard the man say, you got to watch out. Uh, there's some thieves around here. And this is a new road that's being built. So, how are you, brother? Salam no. And they know. All right. So, let's go, guys. See if I can get to this restaurant. See if I still know my directions around uh, this city. Plus, I've never actually been to this area, so let's see, man. I hope I don't get lost. Salamno, yeah. how are you, bro? Uh, you have phone credit, mobile, no. credit card? No, that's it. Check it in. Salamno, I'm looking for some phone credit as well. Luckily, I was able to keep my SIM card from last time, so I still have my number, but I have to. Um, I have to refill the number because there's no credit left in it. So I gotta find somebody who sells phone credit. So that's the first quest. All right, gotta cross this street, I think. It's also tough to cross these streets here, but people are going slow, so. All right, made it one side. Salam no. Salam no. Salam no. Salam Salam no. Salam no. So. Salam no. And they know. A a bole bole friendship. Mindo no. Hello. Ah. Yet no. Ah. This one. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Yes, I you. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. So you just ask people where to go and they'll let you know. I'm still uh, looking for uh, how to get to Bole Friendship. Jeez, my hair is a mess. You know what? It's, the sun isn't out, but it's still pretty hot outside. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, just taking this walk through the back streets and trying to meet a friend to get some lunch at some Indian restaurant close to here. Kilamna? So, walking through these streets. This actually leads to Bole Friendship, this street from where I was coming from. So this area has like a bunch of shops and stuff like that, as you can see. A lot of different shops. Oh look, a Chinese restaurant. That's the big Ethiopian Skylight Hotel down there. Look at the lines for gas, man. This is a problem they haven't solved yet. Is the uh, lines for gas. It goes on, it takes forever to get gasoline. It was almost the same in Pakistan as well. It takes forever to get, uh, to get gas. Look at how long these lines are, it's amazing. Definitely gotta solve that issue. People stand here for hours trying to get gas. But now we are in the Bole Friendship area. I'm headed there still. On the way, guys. Hopefully, I get there. Salamna. All right, guys. We are in the friendship area now. Finally, we made it. All right. So now I gotta walk towards the friendship supermarket. Salamna. So 
go towards the supermarket here and then supposedly there's a restaurant over there so we're gonna go try to find it now i've never been to this restaurant but there's a guy he's a foreigner actually but he watches my videos all the time and he was like i want to invite you for lunch and he's actually helping me out with visas and stuff for other countries so shout out to him i'll introduce you guys salam and sometimes people look at me like who the hell is this guy talking to so salam no and they know ale check okay let me check my weight guys 86 kg Ooh, man i'm heavy too much too much too heavy <laughs> I weigh too much right now guys Gotta lose some weight Don't judge me I've been eating good since Pakistan Alright guys so Something crazy just happened to me On my way I think I got pickpocketed Because I can't find my phone Man It's tough I'm in a really really Sorry man how you doing? I'm in a really, really tough place right now because I'm supposed to meet this guy. I don't know where my phone is. It's gone, actually. Somebody took it. Somebody ran away with it. Man, that's crazy. I didn't even notice. I thought I... I don't know. I go to look in my pocket and it's not there anymore. So now that's a whole new debacle that I have to figure out. <sighs> Losing your phone in Africa. So not something you want to do. Salamna, Alinda. Uh, trying to keep good spirits, but trust me, I am in a very, very bad place right now. Because uh, that phone has everything. All my stuff is in there. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, so I finally made it to this restaurant, even though I lost my phone. But we'll figure that out in a second. So this is called Konark Hotel. This is where it is. It's here right behind the Friendship Mall. So... This is what it looks like when you walk in and this is a, it's an Indian restaurant so they have like nice places to sit down here you can they have some Indian sweets so for anybody who's looking for Indian food in Addis you can find it here it's a good place this is my friend Samit <laughs> thank you brother thank you for inviting me so just if I can ask you a few questions sure, for the sure, video sure, sure. so you are a foreigner you live here yeah, I'm, I have been living here for the last six months. Last six months? Yes. Where Actually, are you from originally? I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan. He's a brother. He's our brother. Um, so, what do you do here? Uh, I have a mobile business here. Oh, you have a mobile business. Perfect. Because I just lost my phone, guys. So, now I'm with the right guy. So, um, uh, what, what do you think about Ethiopia as a foreigner? What, how is it living here? Yeah, it's a nice country. It's a nice, it's a nice country. country to invest in and it's a nice country to have, uh, like, like it's a, it's a multicultural country definitely yeah definitely. almost like uh, 80 above nations live here yes yes because of all the embassies embassies and, yeah. and like uh i'm actually you came to ethiopia on september and i saw your vlog yeah <laughs> and i texted you and then you told me that this is the way you can uh, you told me you texted me and you told me that I asked you, I, I got my e-visa Yeah, And yeah. Uh, what are the other things we need? Yeah, so Like yeah. just the hotel booking and the e-visa That's it, oh yeah, I remember we spoke about that yeah. So yeah guys, this is how it is, you know, doing YouTube and traveling and meeting people And you get people who watch your videos and then you end up becoming friends First I have to get my life together now Because once you lose your phone guys, I'm telling you, it's like you lose a piece of your heart these days So, gotta get that together But we're gonna order some food, I'll show you what the restaurant uh, food looks like and we're gonna indulge in some lunch and then uh, yeah, we'll be on our way. Alrighty guys, the food has arrived. Look at this chicken tikka. It almost feels, makes me feel like I'm back in uh, Pakistan or something. And then you have some dal tadka. So you've tried this place before. Yeah, I've tried. What is your uh, so far review? I know there was a few other Indian restaurants in Addis. This is the best. This is the best one. This is the best you, one. Heard it, you heard it guys, you heard it here first. We got some naan or roti as well. So let me give you guys a taste test and uh, my honest review. Samid says it's good, but you know, I gotta try it out for myself. Look at this tender chicken, guys. Very well cooked. 
so roti is crunchy, nice. So here it is. Hey, bro. Don't worry about me. Wow. Okay. The dal tastes great. Tastes official. Tastes like a dal tarka should taste. Let's try this chicken tikka. Dip it in some chutney. Take a nivala. Okay, okay. You know, my ratings for desi food right now is at an all time high because I was just coming from Pakistan. Yeah. And you know, man. I know, I have been watching your vlogs continuously. Every Tell night. us, the best food is in Pakistan. Pakistan. 100%. 100%. And we're not just saying that because we're Pakistani. The best food is honestly in Pakistan. And if you guys haven't not been there, you should just go there just to try the food. Look at this, guys. Even in Addis Ababa, you can find jalebi. If you watch my Pakistan videos, you'll see that I was eating jalebi there as well. And they have jalebi here also, man. It's not as, you know, authentic, but it looks good, though. It's all right. It's all right. You know, I like to be honest with you guys. And this is all right, you know. It's good for... Jalebi in Ethiopia, but definitely not like the official OG Jalebi, but it's good, it's good. But the food here, I have to be honest, definitely the best Desi food or Indian food that I've tried in uh, Addis. In Addis. So guys, as you can see, this whole meal with the dessert and roti and all the food that you saw, it cost 1,188 beer, which I would love to calculate for you, but I don't have a phone. So I can't tell you what it is in USD because I don't have a phone, which I'm trying to figure out, which I'll show you guys what happens when you lose your phone in Ethiopia or Africa. Well, one thing I can tell you for sure is you don't want to lose your phone here, but um, you're not going to get it back. But anyways, 1,188, if I was to estimate, um, it would be probably about uh, 20 something dollars for a meal that you just saw, right? Like almost $20 like that. Almost twenty dollars, which is not bad for a meal like that. You know, we both ate very well. Still food left over. So, uh, Konark, make sure you guys come here. It's a nice restaurant. All right, guys. So we just got into a taxi. Now I gotta go figure out how am I gonna get a new phone? How much is gonna cost? Um, I don't know. I got my boy Samir. He's gonna help me out. Uh, we're gonna go try to find a phone, something that I can use for now until I get something a more permanent solution. But obviously life without a phone traveling is not easy. So I need to go get that sorted out. And um, yeah, I got to figure out my life. I feel like I just lost a piece of my life. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough. But we are here and it's raining. It's rainy season now, I think. Right? It's, 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 it's rainy season, but not the peak of rainy season. So it does rain every day a little bit. And we're just experiencing that right now. And now we're headed to Edna Mall area. There's uh, some phone shops over there. So we're going to go see if I can find a phone to buy. And then uh, I'll show you guys the whole process of me trying to get a new phone. So let's see. Alrighty guys, here we are in the Edna Mall area. Now I have to find a shop that sells used phones. So at least I can have a phone for the meantime. I'm still debating, should I get something that I'm going to use for you know time coming or just get something temporary and then wait till I either go to Dubai or back to the US and get myself an iPhone again because I'm an Apple I'm an Apple homie ride or die with Apple so I don't like having an Android but for now if that's what it's gonna take then I'll get that that's fine so we're looking for some shops to find this way All right. And I'm sorry guys if my, you know, aura and my attitude is not as it usually is. You have to understand, I just lost something that I run my whole business from. So it's really, really affecting me. But I'm trying to maintain some positive energy because that's what we're all about here. Let's cross the street. So here is a street in Bole in this area. They have a bunch of mobile shops, phones where you can buy phones. So let's see how much a phone costs. Salam no, I'm dead no brother. It's okay if I record? I need to buy a phone. I just lost my phone. 
so I need to buy some phone. Yeah, it's okay if I. No. no. Okay. Hey guys, so on this street, I found one guy who seems to have a decent deal. This is his shop. Hey, bro, your name, your shop name is this yeah, one, right? Awesome. Habenu. Habenu, yeah. Habenu Mobile. And this guy is you're the owner. Yeah, I'm the owner. And your name? Haben. Haben. Yeah. Oh, so makes nice sense. <laughs> and so he's uh, very accommodating, helpful. And uh, wh which, where exactly is your shop located? It's in Bali, in front of Ernamo. Ernamo. Yeah, in front okay. of Ernamo. It's next to Radon building. And how long have you guys been in this We've area? We've been here like seven years, more than seven years. More than seven years. Yeah. Awesome. And you sell all kinds of phones. He has yeah, iPhones, iPhone, Samsung. Samsung's. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's it. iPhone and Samsung. Yeah, mostly. Mostly <laughs> iPhone and Samsung. So you can find some good phones here for a and good price. Too. Oh, and laptops as well. Yeah. And so I'm actually buying a iPhone X yeah. S, right? Mm -hmm. This is an XS. Yeah. 256 GB. Yeah. And uh, it's around 250. Yeah. Tw twenty five thousand. Yeah. Twenty five thousand. Yeah. Sorry. It's not enough. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So. And he's also giving us some coffee as well. Yeah, so yeah, you're gonna get that kind of uh, service if you come here. So, so that that issue is solved. At least I think I found a new phone, hey, uh, something decent for a not so bad price. And now I have to figure out how to get a SIM card and do all of that. But yeah, if you guys ever need a phone, make sure you come here. I just want to make sure it works. Everything. I'm, I mean, I trust that you're. you're sure, you got an iCloud, right? Yeah, I do. I do. So, we can do your yeah, yeah. so hopefully my iCloud is updated and I can upload everything from my old phone onto here. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, this is an iPhone XS. Listen, it does the job for now. Definitely not ideal, but hey, it is what it is. You know, you got to roll with the punches when you're traveling. You know, so and thanks to Habin, a nice guy. So gave us some coffee as well. You know, you can't, you, anywhere you go in Ethiopia, they always give you bunna, you know? Bunna is right? Mm -hmm. It's part of the culture. Right, guys, so I got my new phone. Well, not really a new one. It's an old iPhone 10, And I'm trying to find my old phone. It's here somewhere in this area of Addis, but it was last seen like two hours ago. So who knows? Maybe these people parted the phone out by now or it's gone. Uh, I'm not counting on finding it. Most probably I won't find it, but at least I should make an attempt. Why not? If I could find it, that would be great. Um, but yeah, it's not uh, not looking very likely, but let's see. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. All right, guys. So just a quick background on what happened when I lost my phone. I was so startled and frantic. I wasn't actually able to explain what really happened was so basically here you have people who are very slick at pickpocketing. So what they'll do is they'll come close to you and try to act like they're helping you. So this guy like dropped water on me or something and he just quickly like used a towel to help me wipe it off. And next thing you know, my phone was gone. But in my head, I wasn't thinking like that because I was like, oh, he's just helping me, he dropped water. So in my head, I was like, oh, he's a good guy, you know, no big deal. Then about five minutes later, I'm walking and I go to check my phone and it's gone. And I'm like, oh, shit. That's what happened. So be careful of schemes like that if you ever come here. You know, there's a lot of different things like that. There's there's like Houdini level pickpocketing here. You have to be very, very astute and aware of what who's around you, especially in crowded places. That's where it happens a lot. So you want to make sure like if you're ever in a crowded place here, just keep your things in a zipper pocket, um, have a bag or um, just don't bring anything valuable with you because yeah or uh, you'll be paying for it, which happened to me today. Uh, luckily, I was able to figure it out. My friend Samit, shout out to him, helped me out a lot. And uh, you know, I was able to get a new phone, not one of my, something that I would love to have, but hey, you know, it's something. It's something to hold me up, at least for the meantime. So, but yeah, I just wanted to let, give you guys a quick background as to what exactly happened. But luckily, you know, I'm figuring it out, seeing if I can back my iCloud up and all of that, so. Yeah, but it happens guys, when you're traveling, all kinds of things happens. You're gonna lose your cards, you're gonna lose, th things happen, but you just have to, it's not about what happens to you, it's about how you react to situations, you know? My goal today, when this happened, was just remain calm and I'll figure it out. You know, that was it, that was what I was telling myself, just remain calm. As angry, as upset, as startled as I was to lose my phone here in a foreign country, especially here in Africa, where like things are even more difficult, I still kept calm and, you know, figuring it out. So, but that's the lesson. Just keep calm. It's not about what happens, it's about how you react to it. And remember guys, continue to learn, continue to grow. 
and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.